Welcome to another bit. Today we're going to build an audio component for like $3.98. But first, let me ask you a question. Does this box of Ritz crackers have a USB port? No! And there's Captain <laughs> Underpants. Yes. All right. Does this orange juice have remote control? No! <laughs> and this bag of coffee pairs nicely with breakfast, but does it pair with a Bluetooth phone? No! So yes, it almost seems amazing, too good to be true, that you could buy an audio component for $3.98. From, from China. And we would just, uh, a few um, weeks ago, we watched a um, movie called The Tower Inferno, and Dad said they got cheap wire from China. Uh, we got this from a place called AliExpress, and uh, they have tons of different these little MP3 modules. If you search for it, they range anywhere from ninety cents. This one was three dollars and ninety eight cents. Wait, is Chinese listening to me? Uh oh, I think All I right. should have not said that. All right. So here's what came yeah, with it. Yeah, it's nice. It's basically a circuit board, and there's, that's the remote control, right? Now, unfortunately, it looks like this little standoff was damaged in shipping, but we'll uh, glue that back on in a little bit. And uh, did it do it? Well, yeah, I glued it, but I'm going to glue it back on. But see, it's just a circuit board, so we need to put it in a box. You see the remote control is damaged as well. And here is the sticker after we got it all mounted in those uh, mounting holes. We stick that sticker on there. But anyway, that's what came in the bag. It took about 30 days to disaster. get... It's a disaster. Yeah, it's not a disaster. It's about to come back. All right, this is an old power supply. If you've worked with computers... It's from 2010. You... Yeah, you probably have one of these. Um, this one's kind of crispy. It's fried. It's not going to work. So I'm just going to trash the insides and use the box. Yeah. It says 2005, but it's actually from, from 2010. Look, there's a trash can. Kaboom! Yeah, it's gone. So this is a nice metal box, and it's about the same height as a tape deck or a CD player or something. So it might be a good place to do a, to make an audio component out of, and it's free. And so Warning, gonna... do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. Do you see that pencil mark? We're going to see. Don't try this at home. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Be careful. You know, I've never really burn, burn through the metal here. Don't try this at home. I just had to trace out a little thing and, and punch out the metal. And uh, anyway. Let me spray paint all, it. It also spray painted it to cover up the, the scratches. And we super glued that piece back on there with some Gorilla Glue. And it seemed to hold. Although I may uh, reinforce with hot glue. And then I soldered the little connectors that came with it to some. Sorry, the camera's a little shaky. I'm filming it. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. And the hardest part was finding screws. I'm going to have to go back and get a smaller screw because that one sticks out. Probably push the sticker out. But uh, got a couple of screws there. I didn't have enough screw, screws in my toolbox that would work. So I think I'm going to go to the hardware store and just get some tiny bolts. But for now, this is good enough to uh, kind of demo it. Uh, so we got it all put back together. And I had some extra rubber feet. And it looks pretty nice. You know, it looks like a little little audio component and try to turn we need it on. a new remote. Well, the remote is kind of finicky. I mean, it, that, this whole thing is cheap. It was only $3.98. Oh, there. It turns on. Yay. Uh, so that's good news. It turns on and off. Uh, it says hi when you boot it up. So uh, there's that port. Why does he keep showing up? Tell you what. Let's <laughs> let's see how it sounds. We kind of heard how it... We, we see that we put it together. Let's hook it up and see how it sounds. This SD card is, it goes in there and, and it loads pretty quickly. It's weird that you have to insert it upside down. Uh, and then, of course, you just got basic navigation. There's not a lot of... Uh, hey, anyway, where did you have that rubber feet? I just had them in the parts drawer. They came with something else. But, uh, you know, it sounds okay. It works. I mean, I guess for background listening... We got that stereo from a garage sale. Yes, we did. All right, so yeah, if you we put it in... Remember our last art video? There was a spider in it? Yes. That was creepy. So anyway, clicking around with the remote is pretty easy on this card, pretty responsive when it works. You can also uh, punch in a number, like if you want to go to a certain song number, I just punch in number 14 and just wait a second or two and then it'll jump to 14. Um, and you can pause and, you know, basic kind of controls on the remote and on the front of the thing. You can also hold down the fast forward. Here's a USB stick. We're gonna, it'll do uh, SD or USB. So let's try USB stick. The remote does get a little laggy on this the USB drive. I don't know if it's the amount of files I've got on there or just the fact that it's USB. The other interesting thing is this, the order of playback is not the uh, alphabetical order of the files. It's, I guess, the order they were copied to the, uh, the drive. Or I, I don't know what order it is. But... 
There I'm trying to enter, it's, it's ignoring my clicks. I'm trying to enter 3241 and I ended up on 324. Uh, you know, it just takes a little getting used to. And you hit it mode and cycle through all the different various uh, things. There, it's got an FM tuner. Um, it doesn't sound as good it's got, uh, as the stereo there below it. Bluetooth. Uh, it beeps when you go to Bluetooth, and then you see these two devices. I don't know what the bottom one is. I compare, uh, pair with the JQBT, and it pairs, and uh, just download something from the YouTube audio library and play it back here, and it, it'll play. Um, I was able to walk away maybe, I don't know, 20 or 30 feet before it started breaking up. I, I haven't tried it through a wall or anything, just kind of line of sight. You know, it uh, played Bluetooth right off my Motorola phone. All right, well, we're going to play a sound sample uh, just off the line input, and I'll go through the various equalizer modes, and you can just kind of see how it sounds. This is a one of the free YouTube audio library tracks, so I don't get uh, copyright flagged. Here we go. and a little bit of spare parts you know I, I'm pretty impressed with it I may order some some other little electronic building components uh,